Hey everyone, we are going to talk about uh, regions of the body, names of regions of the body. This is chapter one notes. We are on slide 39. Uh, you can see pictured here is an anterior and posterior view of a person, front and back of a person, with different regions uh, labeled. There's a lot. There's a lot here. So um, to go through each one, I'm actually going to switch over to complete anatomy, uh, and we'll write it out all together. Male model is pictured in the uh, in the notes. Uh, here is a female model, newly added to complete anatomy. Let's start with the head region. There's actually a lot going on here in the head region, so let's take a look. All right. Okay, so the term for the whole head and these are adjective words that I'm using. Like head is a noun, head region, I guess is one way you could, like, there's no real adjective for just head in English or not that I can think of, there probably is. But anyways, the, the Latin or Greek term, the, the term that I'd like you to use, the term for the whole head is cephalic. The term for the whole head is cephalic. So this is the cephalic region. The head is the cephalic region. We'll see ceph or cap or sep. All these are stems meaning head. Like the capital, capital is where our head of government is. It's, cap means head, or you put a cap on your head. Um, can think of another one with sep. Or if you've ever heard of hydroencephalus, it's where you get a lot of fluid in your brain. Um, ceph is because head. So cephalic, that's the head region. The term for um, your face, and which is you know, roughly defined as, as that, the term for your face is the facial region. Some words are gonna be very intuitive. Facial, I hope, is pretty intuitive. Cephalic will take some getting used to. But the, fa the facial region is a region that's part of the cephalic region. And then the cephalic region can be further divided. When we talk about the cephalic, the head region, it's made up of the facial region as well as everything else. And all of this is protecting the brain. The term for the bones, the region that's protecting the brain, so like all of this, this is the cranial region. The cranial region and the facial region make up the cephalic region. We can further divide these. I'm going to clear cephalic so we can make room for more, more labels. But cephalic is the whole thing. And let's go over the facial region first. So I'm gonna remove my cranial label. When referring to the facial region, there's several things going on here. Your forehead, the term for your forehead is the frontal region, that's your frontal region. The term for your eye or eye region, there's actually several terms here. The term for your eye region can be orbital because you're it's a circle. Ocular is another because it's where the eye is and ocular refers to the eye. Or off, Ophthalmic, this is a long one, ophthalmic. That's also referring to the eye region. Orbital, ocular, or ophthalmic regions. The term for your nose, that's your nasal region. That I hope makes sense. The term for your cheek, this is pronounced funny. This is your buccal, buccal region. Your cheek is your buccal region. The term for your ear, there's two words that we can use. 
you might hear the word Otic, the Otic region, or you might see auricular. Otic or auricular mean your ear region. I'm including that in your face. I mean, I know it's up to the edges, the lateral edges of your face, but yeah. Your mouth region is your oral, O-R-A-L. Your mouth region is your oral region. Your chin is your mental region. One way that I use, that I, one way to remember this, uh, I know when you think of mental, you might be thinking up here because mental is like thinking of stuff, but when you think real hard, you know, sometimes you put your hand on your chin, mental is chin. Those are all regions of your face. I'm gonna clear this and show regions of the cranium. Actually, let me point out one more thing. Not quite your face, but adjacent to your face is your neck. The term for neck is cervical. This is your cervical region, neck. Now I'm gonna clear this and I'll show you parts of the cranium. I'm gonna rotate, look from a lateral view. Well, from roughly here to here is your cranium, cranial region. There's a little bit of overlap. We said that the frontal is part of the face region. It's also part of the cranial region. Frontal is in front. This flat part on your side, on either side, this flat part, that is your temporal region. Whoops. Flat part on either side is your temporal region. Now I know the borders for this aren't the easiest to see. It's roughly right here, roughly. When we look at bones of the skull, we'll be able to see more defined regions, but it's roughly right there. Now there's a difference between frontal and this bone here on top. This bone here on top and a little bit posterior, this is the parietal region. Parietal. And then the bone in the very back where you can feel the protrusion on the back of your head. This is the Oops, this is the occipital region. Frontal, there's one major frontal region. Parietal, there's actually two on either, one on either side, but just forms one big region here. Parietal, temporal, one on either side, occipital, one in back. Frontal, parietal, temporal, occipital. That makes up your cranial region. And the cranial region is part of the, part of the cephalic region. We've gone over all the parts of the head that I'd like you to know, the specific names of regions. Let's go more inferior. I'm gonna clear this, switch views. Let's look at the thoracic region. <clears throat> I had already said that this region here, whoops. I already said that this region here is the cervical region. That's the cervical region. Um, this term for the shoulder, the shoulder region is the deltoid. The deltoid. If you follow the collarbone, you see the collarbone here? If you follow it towards the deltoid, so adjacent to the deltoid, you'll see this bump right here. This is the acromial region. Acromial. 
It's the term for a bump formed by your scapula. We'll get to that later. That's the acromial region. The center of your chest, the medial portion of your chest, this is the sternal region. Sternal. The term for this broad area on your chest, so that really the main part of your chest, that's the pectoral region, pectoral. Where the mammary glands are found, that's the, where you're, the main part of your breast, male or female or intersex, this is the mammary region. Males have mammary glands too, they're just not developed. No, in most cases. This is the mammary region. <clears throat> Altogether, the sternal, pectoral, mammary uh, regions, um, this all forms, let me give you a good outline. From an anterior view, all of this is part of the thoracic region. Sternal, pectoral, mammary, they are all within the thoracic region. The thoracic region is one of those larger regions, just like cephalic is a larger region. Facial is part of cephalic. And then even then orbital is part of, part of facial. There's a bunch of nesting going on. That's on the anterior side of the thoracic region. <clears throat> Clearing this. Oops. Looking at the arm, we just saw that the deltoid is the shoulder, the deltoid region. The term for armpit, armpit region over here, that's axillary. A-X-I-L-L-A-R-Y, axillary region. The term for your upper arm is brachial. Whenever you see a CH in this class, it's a hard K sound, brachial. We're looking from an anterior view. The term for anterior elbow so not the back of the elbow, we'll get to that in a minute. The anterior elbow, this is the antecubital. Antecubital, ante means before, cubit is referring to the part of the arm, antecubital. The forearm, the forearm is the antebrachial. It's before the upper arm, antebrachial. <clears throat> the whole hand, the whole hand is known as the manual region. The whole hand is known as the manual region. Oh, I might, forgot to mention the wrist. The wrist is the carpal region. Maybe you've heard of carpal tunnel syndrome. That's a problem with a part of your wrist. Carpal is wrist. Manual is whole hand. Like when you read a manual, and the manual is how to do something by hand, usually. Not anymore, I guess, but that's what it traditionally meant. You do, when you do something manually, you do it by hand. Manual means hand. There's, of course, different parts of the hand, and we can name those different parts. The palm of your hand is the palmar region, P-A-L-M-A-R. P 
Palmer. Your thumb has a very special name. Well, let me back up. Collectively, all of your fingers, all of your fingers can be referred to as either the digital region, because they're digits. They could also be referred to as your phal phalanges. So these are your phalangeal regions. Digital or phalangeal. Your thumb is unique though, because it moves differently. There's a term specifically for your thumb. Your thumb is the pollux, P-O-L-L-E-X. Your pollux goes to your palm. That's how I remember it. Pollux goes to palm. That's everything on the anterior side of the arm. I'm gonna clear this. Looking at the anterior side of the abdominal pelvic region, we just said that, well, the anterior side of the body as a whole, we had just said that this is the thoracic region. The term for all of this, this is all abdominal pelvic. We're gonna be learning about cavities soon. And in this space is a bunch of organs in this one large space. If you cut this open, it's, it's organs shoved into one large cavity. Abdominal pelvic region. Your abdominal region makes up a good part of the abdominal pelvic region. Roughly all of that is abdominal. And then the pelvic region is lower down. It's more inferior. We'll be going over specific terms of referring to the abdominal pelvic region in the next, it's not the next video, it's one after that. We'll look out for that in a minute. <clears throat> there is a term for your groin. The term for the groin on either side, this is inguinal. Inguinal. And specifically, where your genitalia, where your external genitalia are. Let's use dark blue. Specifically where your external genitalia are, this is the pubic region, pubic. So thoracic is, in, is superior, abdominal pelvic is inferior to thoracic. Abdominal pelvic is made up of the abdominal region, which is made up of further regions. We'll get to that soon. And the pelvic region, which is more inferior. Inguinal is the, inguinal is kind of like the axillary region. Axillary is to the arm, inguinal is to the leg. Pubic is where you find your external genitalia. Clearing this, if we follow underneath, more inferior to the posterior side. Oops. This region is the pubic region. <clears throat> the term for this region that's most inferior in between your legs, it's in between your genitalia and your anus. The term for this is perineal, P-E-R-I-N-E-A-L, perineal. Moving around to the back, clearing this. Uh, let's take a look at the parts of the arm that are slightly different. When we're looking at the arm, once again, deltoid is, oops, deltoid is the same front and back, or the same name for, the, for this region.
We have deltoid. We have brachial. Forearm is still antebrachial. The term for your elbow, the back of your elbow, posterior side of your elbow, antecubital is on the anterior side. Whoops, it's olecranal. O-L-E-C-R-A-N-A-L, -E olecranal. The emphasis is on the E, olecranal. That's your olecranal region, elbow. The back of your hand is just called the dorsal region of your hand. So we can just call it the dorsal manual region. On the anterior side, your chest is your thoracic region. That's still true here. Where you find your ribs, this is also thoracic. just the posterior thoracic region. This is still cervical. And the term for your lower back, term for this is lumbar. Cervical is superior, thoracic, Lumbar is most inferior. Towards a medial portion of this, so all along the midline, here and here and here, these are vertebral regions. Everywhere that I colored blue are vertebral regions. It's where your vertebrae are found the bone that protects your spinal cord and nerves. We can refer to the different parts. There's cervical vertebral, there's thoracic vertebral, and there's lumbar vertebral. So we can be specific about which vertebral region we're pointing at. The very base of all of this is a triangular bone down here. This is known as the sacral region, sacral, because this bone here is called the sacrum. I do want to point out that this lumbar region and lumbar vertebral, it's still within, it's still within the abdominal region, but lumbar is just referring to the back, and lumbar vertebral is most medial. What we have left are the hips, butt, and legs, both anterior and posterior bone. Let's take a look, I'm gonna clear this. Going back to the anterior side. <clears throat> I mentioned that the groin is inguinal. The word for hip, your hip region is coxal, C-O-X-A-L, coxal. Your upper leg, your thigh, is the femoral region because your femur is here, femoral. Your anterior knee, where you have that round bone, called the patella, this is your patellar region. Patellar region. Where you find your shin bone, your tibia, this region on the anterior side, this is your crural region, crural. Your wrist is your carpal region. Your ankle is your tarsal region. Your ankle is your tarsal region.
the whole foot, the whole foot is your pedal region. Your hand is your manual region. Your foot is your pedal region. You put your feet on pedals when you're pedaling your bike. Your feet, your feet are the pedal region. Just like your hand is made up of several regions, your feet are made up of several regions. So within the pedal region, <clears throat> the top of your foot is actually kind of like the back of your, your hand. So the top of your foot is actually the dorsal pedal region, the dorsal pedal region. Your toes, unfortunately, have a similar name to your fingers. Your toes are your phalangeal or digital regions. It's the same thing. So you have to be specific. Are you talking about the phalangeal regions of your manual region or the phalangeal regions of your pedal region of your hands of your, or of your feet? Your thumb is the pollux, your big toe. Your big toe is the hallux, H-A-L-L-U-X, hallux. Pollux goes to the palm, hallux is by the heel. That's how I remember it. Pollux goes to the palm, hallux is by the heel. Clearing this, we're gonna go to the backside. But first, what about the underside of the foot? It's a very unique place. Your palmar region of your hand is akin to the underside of your foot, but the underside of your foot underside of your foot points uh, inferiorly while your palms in anatomical position point anteriorly. The underside of your foot is known as your plantar region. Word plantar is referring to the sole of your foot. It's the bottom, you're planting it on the ground. Plantar region. The term for the buttocks is the gluteal region. Remember our hip region is the coxal region. The thigh on the posterior side is still femoral. The thigh on the posterior side is still femoral. Anterior knee is patellar. Posterior knee, though, is popliteal. 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 That's how you pronounce it. Popliteal. Emphasis on the I. The anterior side of the lower leg was crural. The posterior side of the lower leg is sural. Crural is anterior, sural is posterior. The ankle is still tarsal. And your heel, your heel is your calcaneal. Emphasis on the A, the second A, calcaneal region. Sural is for the calf. Calcaneal is for your heel. Those are all the different regions that I'm asking you to know. There's a lot of them. It will take time and practice for you to get this all down. So I encourage you to rewatch this. I encourage you to create your own diagrams and practice it. I encourage you to use these terms 
uh, with the directional terms as well, which ones are inferior to which, which ones are superior to which, which ones are proximal to which, which ones are distal to which. There's a bit of practice if you go back to the slides that we can do together. This was on slide 39. If we go to slide 40, we have some practice here. I'm gonna write the answers in a, in a second, but I suggest if you're practicing, pause this video right now and fill this out and then unpause and we'll go over the answers. So let's go over the answers. The first question, The first question says, I bumped the back of my elbow. The back of your elbow is your olecranal region. If you cut your chin while shaving, you've cut your mental region. If you feel pain in your carpal region, what region are you hurting? What's the colloquial term for it? You should be able to go back and forth. Your carpal region is your wrist. If you have a tightness in your chest, I was kind of vague with this one actually. If you have a tightness in your chest, where are you feeling pain? If it's in the middle of your chest, that's your sternal region. If it's a little more lateral, you can say pectoral. Um, maybe mammary because that's also in the chest region. Or as a whole, you could just say thoracic. Any of these could be acceptable. I would have to be more specific in my question to pick just one, but any of those could work. After wisdom tooth surgery, you put ice on your cheek. What's your cheek? That's your buccal region. If you buy lumbar support, I definitely need that. You're protecting your lower back your inferior back. Great. So um, keep practicing. A lot of terms here. You'll need it for the upcoming mini. Uh, Rewatch this as needed. Don't forget, you can pause. You can turn on subtitles to make sure that you're getting everything right. And if there's still some confusion, if you have a question, if you wanted to comment on something, please go to the discussion and leave a comment, leave a question, and I'll help you out there too. And hopefully you'll help other people as well. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.